But then the neighbor knocked on the door yelling, there's a fire, get out, get out. Peter Maloof lives behind this home where there's a gaping hole in the roof from a fire and the doors are all boarded up. There's only about eight feet between them, but Maloof says he's never known the people who lived inside. Never heard or saw other than the light once in a while. Neighbors say Gary Duffield lived in the home with his mother since the 1980s. She passed away in 2016, but shortly after the fire in March of 2017, a neighbor reported Duffield missing. I can tell you that there was a missing persons report filed uh, after, the, after the fire involving a person we believe lived at that location. Neighbors who didn't want to go on camera say Duffield mostly kept to himself, but possibly lived with roommates. They say his car sat in front of the house until recently when someone else bought the charred up home. Maloof says within the last few days, he could hear construction workers going in and out of the house. That they had uh, orders to, you know, they're going to tear it down and rebuild it. It's a great, it's been <laughs> an eyesore for the longest time. So, um, and, and then they stopped coming. I couldn't figure out why. Phoenix Fire says they followed protocol in searching the house, but no bodies or human remains were found. I, I couldn't even imagine uh, investigation uh, missing that. I, well hidden body, who knows? And obviously there are still a lot of questions out here like how long have those human remains been inside the home? Who did they belong to? And how did that person die? The Maricopa County Medical Examiner will be the one to determine those answers. For now, reporting live in Iowa, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.